Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn about significant figures. Rounding the numbers to significant figures. We are going to cover in detail by taking different examples. I'm going to start with the basic example rules along with the examples I'll be explaining during the video. So please attend till end. For example, I'm going to start with the very basic example. Let's suppose 2, 3, 4, 7. 2, 3, 4, 7 is a number. You need to round this number to, let's suppose, three significant figures. Now, rule 1, which we are going to discuss. If I need three significant figures, that means from this number, check first three numbers 2 3 4 right first three numbers 2 3 4 we will select and you need to check the next number i will come with the rule also have a look three significant figures your focus is on the first three numbers but you need to check the fourth number also if fourth number i mean the next number is greater than 5 greater than or equal to 5 in fact then this 4 needs to be changed what we will do we will write it as 2 3 4 will be changed to 5 now three figures are completed at the end we will place 0 now do remember what is the rule ending 0 will not be counted in the significant figures first starting from the first second and third three digits are counted at the end it can be one zero two zero three zero if we are talking about only numbers then last zeros are not considered as a significant figure even the starting zeros are also not considered so this is the way one by one all the rules will be discussed in the class so this is just the one question i'm coming up with the next question for example let's suppose we have 4 9 7 2 3 and we want round it to the four significant figures in case of four significant figures check first four numbers then okay what we need to check check first four numbers 4972 okay now check the next number next number is 3 which is less than 5 if this number is less than 5 then no change will happen we will write 4972 as it is but yes at the end i am going to write 0 so this is what four significant figures are counted here I hope this concept is clear. We'll move to next question now with the next rule. For example, let's suppose you have 0 0.023. 0 0.023. And you need to round it to only one significant figure. Only one significant figure. As I told you, starting zeros, leading zeros, they are not going to be counted. Your first number, which is significant, it is coming here, which is 2. But we cannot directly write it, right? We need to check the next number. Next number is 3, which is less than 5. If it is less than 5, then we will just write this answer 0 0.02. Now only one significant figure is there. Do remember one more point I am going to tell you. Let us suppose if you are writing 0 0.020, it will become wrong in this case. Because after decimal ending zeros will be counted as significant figures. So please don't write 0 here. If we are told to write one significant figure, that means 0 0.02. This is the correct answer. I hope this is making sense. Let us take few more examples. Let us suppose we have 
and we need to write three significant figures. Let me write here, we need to write up to three significant figures. Now, zero which comes in between, that is also significant if it is coming in between anywhere. So, three significant figures completes up to 102, 1.02. But we need to check the next number. Next number is 3, which is less than 5. So, there is no change required. What we will do? Its answer will be 1.02 only. This answer is in 3 significant figures. Right? So, multiple examples, as more and more examples we will discuss, different situations will come. It may happen that you are practicing some questions you may come across with a different situation you can write in the comment box we'll definitely reply to you right but i'll try my best to cover different examples here let's suppose we have 1.0893 1.0893 and you need to write up to three significant figures now again the situation is 1.08 3 are completed, but when you check the next number, it is 9. If next number is 9, it is greater than 5. That means this 8 will be increased by 1 or you can say 1 is added to that number. And what will happen here? We will get 1.09. This is the answer in 3 significant figures. So, basically what rules we have studied today, zeros in the starting, that means leading zeros, they will never be considered as a significant figure. Zeros in the middle of any two numbers, any two natural numbers, that zero will be considered significant. Without a decimal number, a number where no decimals are there, ending zeros will not be considered significant there is one special case where it will be considered but we can discuss it later on but as of now do remember last zeros will never be considered they are not going to be considered as significant but if decimal number is there like like 0 0.230 now this zero will be considered as significant so it will be three significant figures here right so different situations are there I suggest you to try out few questions and write in comment box wherever you face problem because I might have missed a few situations. Definitely we can prepare another video as well based on your questions. Right? And one point which I just told you that ending zeros, trailing zeros we say without decimal. For example, normally this is a one significant figure only. Last zeros are not counted. But there are some special cases which are counted in physics or somewhere measurements are involved like meter, centimeter or something. There are some cases where they will be considered. But I don't want to discuss in detail that because normally in mathematics where we are talking about number system, only numbers, then these zeros are not considered. I hope you have learnt a lot from this video. Thank you so much for watching.